Well, hello, Glue Troopers, and uh, this was obviously recorded earlier in the day because by the time you're watching this, I'm probably flying up to New York. So, uh, I got a box today from Orange Tabby. When it rains, it pours. Actually, uh, very. Uh, he, he told me this was coming. Very excited to see what's in here. Uh, he's up in uh, Canada, and Canadians really are the nicest people. So, uh, let's take a look at what he's got. And we have a letter. Uh, good day, Max. Enclosed is the Tamiya 148 Scale Zero kit. It's the A6M2 Type 21, which I believe is the Aquaton Zero. The, that was a, that's correct. Also, find another meatball kit and some World War One mini builds. A traveling Max tool kit to take with you if they allow it. Uh, you can add items you need and remove those not needed for your road builds. Uh, Kenny Fee. A Kenny Fee. Not exactly sure what that is. Um, supplies. Uh, the sanding sponges can be cut to size and are very flexible uh, for use on many shapes. The swabs can be used for weathering and detailing. Masking tape is good on curves. Uh, weather brushes make a model look mean. Uh, and there's a Canada Day souvenir for you. Take care and stay safe. Keep modeling on. Orange Tabby. Well, thank you, Orange Tabby. And let's see what we have here. Okay, uh, this would be some of the modeling tools. Exacto knife or the, the sponges, the brushes and things. Uh, a lot of great equipment in here to make it, actually this would make an egg, you're right, this would make an excellent uh, uh, road kit. So, thank you. And uh, here are a couple of the mini kits he was talking about. Uh, one 70 second scale Academy uh, Sop with Camel and Academy Spad. So, I'm actually probably, uh, the, I've got some World War One stuff planned, so this is gonna fit in nicely with that, thank you. And let's see what we have here. Okay, uh, these are the sanding sponges, so Tamiya sanding sponges. I've actually seen these things at the hobby shop, I've never bought any before. Oh, thank you. These be interested to see how these work. Let's see. The next thing is uh, okay. There's the Tamiya tape and for going around corners and stuff, uh, the real thin stuff. I've learned a lot of modelers. What they'll do is when they use the uh, liquid uh, mask. Is I'll actually tape the edge of the tape and just use the liquid mask as a to fill in the center. I've seen that technique used. Uh, there's the tape, and uh, Tamiya Crafts Modeler's Knife Pro. Okay, I, have not, I do not have one of those. I have to give that a shot. Uh, more tape, uh, and a variety of brushes and uh, other things. A lot of beautiful supplies. Thank you. Saved me a small fortune up at the hobby shop. And, ah, the Ravel Fokker D7. Now, there's something about this kit, but I have to wait till something shows up. But, thank you. Uh, this is, I already know how I'm going to paint this one. And here is the Mitsubishi uh, A6M20 Fighter Zeke, which I will be doing in the American markings uh, as the Akaton Zero. And we have the Hey 8, the Frank, the uh, Nakajima Ki 84, as he said, another meatball airplane. And uh, this must be the Canada Day. Dancing Bear. Who's. Dansan. And that's going to go up on the shelf with the little Mustang you gave me. That's the thing. Da, dancing bear. Da, 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 dancing bear. <laughs> well, make sure that's everything before I. Looks like it is. Well, Orange Tabby, thank you very much. Guys, thanks for tuning in. And uh, da, da, da. <laughs> you have a wonderful...
week or well, have a wonderful week and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys next weekend take care and model on da, da, da. Oh, there's something in here.